Informative introduction. Introduction. Informative explanatory writing. I can explain the parts of an effective informative introduction and construct my own engaging introduction. What is informative writing? Informative writing supplies information to the reader. Informative writing answers the questions why and how. Unlike argumentative writing, informative writing does not try to convince the reader of anything. Informative introductions. Great infor informative texts always start with effective and engaging introductions. Engaging introductions will hook the reader and make them want to learn more. What are some engaging ways to start an essay that you already know of? Your introduction also lets the readers know what to expect in the rest of your writing. Informative introductions typically break down into two different parts, the hook and the explanation of the topic. The hook can take many forms, but its job is always to grab the reader's attention and make them want to read more. A hook can be a question, an interesting fact, a brief an antidote, or vivid description. A quote as well. Can you think of others? Questions. These can get your reader thinking about your topic by allowing them to realize there is information they might not know. Have you ever considered why lions hunt and travel in large packs called prides? Interesting facts. These can spark interest and curiosity in your reader and make them want to find out more. Every year, 8 million tons of garbage are dumped into our oceans. Quotes. This can be an instant creative way to expose the reader to relevant information from an outside source, especially if the quote is clear, clearly uh, worded or well put. Life's most persistent and urgent question is, what are you doing for others? Figurative language. You can paint a picture in your reader's mind and make them more invested in your writing. A rainbow flashes across your field of vision, followed by a whooshing sound and a flutter of wings. It's a parrot out gathering its evening meal. Guess what topics these hooks might be for? Have you ever wondered how humans manage to fly all the way to the moon? In a single day, your heart beats over a hundred thousand times. It's a dark, windless night, and you're staring at the trees. Finally, you see them bats. Millions saw the apple fall, but Newton was the one who asked why. Remember, even though hooks should be creative and interesting, they must be relevant to the topic you're writing about. Write your own hooks. 
For an essay about how smartphones work, what could be your hook? A good hook would be, do you prefer Apple phones or Android phones? That would be a good way to hook in my reader because we do have our preferences for which phones we like the most, even when it comes to computers. We might like another brand over another brand. For informative writing that explains how to play our favorite sports, what could be your hook? Some people like football. Some people like basketball. Some people like tennis. Some people like baseball. So what type of hooks would you use to hook in your reader? Your introduction should also introduce the topic. In two to three sentences immediately following your hook, you should explain what you'll be writing about. What can your reader expect to learn? When doing this, avoid using personal pronouns and referring to your own essay. You could get over two thirds of your daily dose of vitamin C just from orange juice. So that's a good hook. So introducing the topic, here we go. From the nutri nutrients orange juice contains to its cancer fighting properties, the health benefits of orange juice are pretty impressive. Orange juice can have many positive effects on our health. So examples of informative introductions. The smell of fresh cut grass, cleats caked in dirt, shots ringing off goal posts, that soccer is the most popular sport in the world. And it's no coincidence. Through the years, the sport has risen to popularity, in popularity, and it will continue to evolve over time. Highlight the hook in yellow and highlight the sentence that states the topic of this essay in blue. So the first sentence, that's what we could highlight in yellow because we're hooking in our readers, giving them an imagination of what it is to be out there on a soccer field. And then where it states the topic of the essay, it's saying that right here, the most popular sport in the world is soccer. And then it gives us information about it being popular and how it will continue to evolve over time. Introduce the reader to the topic. Given the look below, practice introducing the reader to the topic. The dangers of smoking. Cigarette smoke contains over 7,000 chemicals and 70 of them are known to cause cancer. So here, you can practice what other information that you can also write about cigarette smoke here, because this first one was given to us as a hook to start us off with. Build an informative introduction. Imagine you wanted to write an essay about your favorite hobby. My hook would be, what would your hook be? I would introduce the reader to my topic by saying, so this is some good ways of starting off our writing. Now we're gonna use parts from the left to write a complete informative introduction. So we're gonna go ahead and 
and we're going to write an essay about our favorite hobby. Okay? Remember that you need a hook, which will go here. My favorite, my hook would be for your favorite hobby. And then you want to introduce to your reader what that hobby is. And then over here, we're going to put both parts from this end to write a complete informative introduction about what our favorite hobby is. So putting it all together, construct, construct your own informative introduction. Remember that your introduction should have an interesting and engaging hook, followed by sentences that introduce your reader to the topic. Write an introduction about the topic, the differences between cats and dogs. So this will be a great one for us to do um, on cats and dogs. Informative writing is the same as argumentative writing. Is that true or false? You said false. You are correct. Informative writing educates the reader about a topic and supplies information. You said true. You are correct. An informative introduction should have a hook that is engaging. You said true, you are correct. A hook can be a question, interesting fact, description, or a quote. That one is true. The best hook of these three options would be a smartphones are relatively recent and significant invention b could your parents ever have imagined that they've been able to hold the world in the palm of their hand a man or c a van once said phones are important to the human race you said b you are correct Read the introduction. What is the topic of this essay? I'm going to read it to you. How would you feel if you saw an infant child on the cover of a cigarette advertisement? Believe it or not, this was the norm in the 1950s and 60s. Smoking in the United States has changed a lot since then. One reason for this is that our laws, attitudes, and behaviors related to smoking has drastically influenced the way we think about cigarettes. Today, the government regulates the tobacco industry and the public's belief about smoking is very different. However, people still continue to smoke. So it wants us to read the introduction and what is the topic of this essay. And if you said that this essay should be, were, um, the topic for this essay should be how smoking in the United States has changed, you are correct. So which sentences is the hook? You said sentence one and two, you are correct. What type of hook did the writer use? You said question, you are correct. He started off the, the text with a question. That's the sentence one. What type of essay would this most likely be? Compare and contrast. And which of these would probably not be included in this essay? If you said the last one,